Still with the education sector, some 54 candidates from four secondary schools, namely the Urger Secondary School, Grand Riviere Secondary School, St. Lucia Sports Academy and the Stanley John Odlum Secondary School, participated in the Caribbean Certificate of Secondary Level Competence, CCSLC. The students were assessed in six subject areas, including English, Mathematics, French, Spanish, Social Studies and Integrated Science. Registrar of Examinations Carmelita Mafia explains that CCSLC identifies students' performance based on three levels. These are mastering the concepts, being competent in the area, and developing competence, which means that they have not fully grasped all concepts in the subject area. 15 students obtained competency. We have four students being at the master level and five students developing competence. In French, we had zero students in the mastery, at the mastery level and one student who was competent and no students developing competence. Integrated science, again, we see more students at the competent level. We had nine students, just one student obtaining mastery and four of them developing competence. For mathematics, we have zero in the mastery level, at the mastery level, nine at the competent level, and 15. So we have more students in mathematics who are still trying to develop competence in that area, in that subject area. For social studies, we see more students at the competent level and also in Spanish. 341 candidates participated in the Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examination, CAPE. The individuals were from the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, Northern and Southern campuses, and were tested in 24 subject areas, with 37 subjects being conducted electronically. Registrar of Examinations Carmelita Mafia explained that CAPE Unit 1 recorded a decline in the pass rate from 96.8 in 2020 to 95.71 in 2021. A slight decline was also recorded in CAPE Unit 2 from 95.95 to 95.83. The pass rate per subject. For Unit 1, the, it ranged from 45.45% to a hundred percent. And for unit two, it ranged from 81.33% to 100%. For unit one, we have the subjects that obtained a hundred percent. We have quite a few, a few of them. Accounting, communication studies, digital media, economics, entrepreneurship, environmental science, green engineering, information technology, literatures in English, physics, sociology, Spanish, and tourism. So these are the unit one subjects that obtained a pass rate of 100%. For the unit two subjects, we have less, applied mathematics, digital media, entrepreneurship, geography, green engineering, information technology, physics, sociology, Spanish, and tourism. So these are the subjects that obtained a pass rate of 100%. The males outperformed the females in five CAPE subject areas. We are looking at the gender performance of CAPE. We noticed that the males outperformed the females in five subject areas, and these subject areas in include digital media, environmental science, green engineering, information technology, and physics. Registrar of Examinations, Carmelita Matthew.